What's up guys, Dr. Greg here back with another episode. I hope you guys have all been having an awesome week. If this is your first time on the channel, welcome and please consider hitting the subscribe button with the little bell so you can stay up to date with all my videos. Today what we're going to be talking about is something a little bit different than braces and that's how clear aligners, specifically Invisalign, work to move your teeth. So let's go. in a previous video, which I'm going to link out over here about things to know before starting aligner therapy, Invisalign is just one type of a bunch of different clear aligners. There's different things like Clear Correct, Sure Smile, there's new ones from 3M and Ormco. All these different companies are coming up with ways of moving teeth by using clear aligners. But what you guys want to know about and what we're going to talk about today is how we use plastic to move teeth instead of using things like wires and power chains to move those teeth. So the fundamental concept of how teeth move are the same, and I went into detail with it in this video, which I'm gonna link out over here, but what it is is that there is a pressure and a tension that is put on a tooth. And when you put these forces on a tooth, it causes tooth movement. So to review it briefly, when you put force on a tooth, what happens is you have pressure on one side of the root and tension on the other and this causes bone to disappear on the pressure side and bone to be laid down on the tension side, which essentially can cause the tooth to move through your bone into a new position. With braces and wires, the way this is done is that we put a bracket on your tooth and all the forces are delivered to that one part of the bracket which causes the tooth to move. Before we go any further along, let's take a look at one type of clear aligner. So this is a close-up look of what a clear aligner looks like. And a clear aligner is basically a sheet of plastic that goes around your teeth that causes tooth movement. They can have a bunch of different shapes. Over here you can see that it's not scalloped, meaning that the bottom border of it is flat. But in certain cases, like with Invisalign, it's scalloped to follow the gum margin. There's different pros and cons for this, which I can also review in a future video. What you can see is that there's an intimate contact between the plastic material and the tooth. And this is what allows for the forces to be delivered to the tooth properly and precisely so that we can get the planned tooth movement. The way these aligners work is that we basically plan how we want your tooth to move through a series of movements. So different steps along the path from let's say point A to point B. And let's say that that will take five movements to achieve or five aligners. What we would do on the computer then is simulate each movement of where we want the tooth and then use 3D printing technology to actually make models of each one of these steps. Then what we would do is melt down a plastic type of material onto these models of the teeth and create your trays that you would receive. So from let's say setup 0 to 1, the plastic would push your tooth into the position we would want it to be in step 1. Now from 1 to 2, the aligner would push the tooth from where it'd be in now to step two, and so on and so forth. So basically the way these aligners work is by taking individual steps along a route to move a tooth from one point to another. So let's look at an example of how we can move a tooth that's leaning backwards forward. The way we would plan this is make a series of trays that would basically move this one tooth to where we'd want it to end up. So with wires and brackets, the teeth are constantly being controlled by the wire but with aligners, you have the liberty of taking it in and out. So this has pros and cons. The pros would be that you can take out the aligners and clean your teeth, but the cons are if you're not wearing these trays for at least 20 to 22 hours a day, you're really not getting the movement that's gonna be planned. So let's say you don't wear your first tray very well. Where we predict your tooth to be at the end of the first stage, it won't be there. So when we're trying to use tray two, it might not fit properly, and that's what we call losing tracking we won't be able to get that perfect adaptation around the tooth since the tray would expect your tooth to be where stage one is, but it never made it there because you didn't wear it enough in the first aligner. How fast you can get from step zero to step one or from one to two really depends on a lot of factors. So your orthodontist will let you know how frequently you can change these trays that are personalized to you. A lot of people ask, well, will I need elastics with Invisalign or other clear aligners? And the answer is it really depends on your treatment. The aligners are really good at getting your upper and lower teeth straight, but 
Just like with braces, to coordinate the upper and lower teeth and get your bite right, in certain cases we may need to use elastics, and I'll expand upon that in a future video. With these clear aligners and with braces, yes, we can get your teeth straight, but we always have to be mindful that the teeth are in a stable position within the bone. That's why it's always important to be seeing an orthodontist for these treatments. So let's go back and talk about those movements that are difficult for aligners to do. One of those movements are rotations, which is basically having the tooth rotated in the position that it's currently in. This is tough for teeth that are very round shaped like the canines because you're not able to get a good grip on the tooth and you're basically trying to spin something which you can't get a good grip on. Another tough movement is extruding, which is basically pulling teeth away from the gum line. This is difficult because like we've said in previous videos, the teeth are really slippery. So if this plastic can't get a good grip on that tooth, it's basically pulling on something that it's not having a solid grip on. So how could we make these difficult movements more predictable? You guessed it. We can use something called attachments, which basically serve as handlebars so that these aligners can help guide your teeth along to achieve the movements we're trying to achieve. Attachments are basically little pieces of tooth filling material that we use to place onto the tooth, which are usually the same color as that tooth, and they basically serve as a handlebar so that the tooth can be moved to where we want to move it. This is somewhat like the brackets with braces. It adds an area where we can hold on and move that tooth. So I hope that answered some of your questions of how teeth move with Invisalign and aligners. There's a lot more complexity to this and I can make a lot of videos describing more about clear aligners. But for now, please leave your questions in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, Make sure to give it a thumbs up and I will catch you guys next time on this channel. For now, Dr. Greg, out.